<laughs> it's like, what were you doing with my drapes? The drapes that were hanging in the apartment. I never got the answer to that. Excuse me. Yeah. You live in Santa Monica, right? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think about rent control? Rent control? Love it. It's the best. Where else can you make a couple of hundred K a year, live two blocks from the beach, and pay 600 bucks a month in rent? Hi, I'm Carrie from Sky Properties. Uh, I once uh, tried to evict a tenant in Santa Monica who was doing Airbnb. Uh, I knocked on the door and the tenant answered, and it wasn't actually the tenant, but it was someone who I didn't recognize or know. And so I asked them, you know, where's the tenant? And they said, uh, you know, they live in a different country. And I was like, oh, well, who are you? And she said, well, I'm airbnb the apartment for the weekend. And so uh, we started an eviction. We served the three-day notice, which, of course, went unanswered because he lived in Dubai. And uh, when we got to court, he got a free attorney through Boston. He drove a nicer car than most, uh, was wearing Gucci shoes, and uh, was paying seven something for his uh, rent controlled unit in Santa Monica, three blocks from the beach. Let's just say he was making a good amount of profit on his apartment. And when we went to court, uh, the judges and the lawyers, they all leaned towards the tenant. Um, I tried to evict him for it. Uh, it was a second home, it wasn't even his first home. And uh, we did not win that eviction. However, I did get, was able to get more rent out of him and I doubt he'll try to Airbnb it again. Uh, but the point is, he kept his low-cost apartment, uh, and he doesn't really need it. To make a point here, um, I think it's important that if we're going to enact rent control, that we should probably tie it towards income, because I can tell you that he probably makes upwards of two, three hundred thousand a year. I think it's unfortunate that we give rent control to people who make that much money.